Hello, 108 class. Mr. McCure here with you. Welcome to section 7.4. We are going to go ahead and deal with equations that have rational expressions in them. Okay, so what that means is you're going to see equations like example 1a and notice you've got one, two, three rational expressions. And remember, rational expressions are like, they look like fractions is how I remember them. And you might see the variable down in the denominator. That's a dead giveaway also. Okay, so objective number one is going to ask us to uh, take advantage of determining what the variable x cannot be equal to. Okay, so we've done this before. Remember, you're never allowed to divide by zero. So this expression in the denominators, there's three of them you have to take each one and set them not equal to zero to figure out what what it is okay so <clears throat> take a look at this now what I've done here is uh, I've said equal to zero but I'd like you to turn around here when you're looking for restrictions it's, it's just easier for the brain to say take the first denominator and say what it cannot equal zero therefore X cannot equal zero is one of your restrictions Okay, 2 is a number, there's no variable, so you don't have to worry about that, that's okay. Now you take 2x and you set it not equal to 0. Therefore, divide by 2 on both sides, and of course, x cannot equal 0. Therefore, your restrictions are that. Okay, um, let's go take on, let's go take on example 1b, a little more challenging here, and they're just asking you to, to Again, determine their restrictions. Now, here's the tough part. You got to remember to do this. It's so easy to turn around here and start solving these things and go through all the work. And then, if you if you forget to do the restrictions, and you find your solutions have one of these restrictions in there, you have to you have to throw that out. And if you don't go through the restriction determination process, you're going to get messed up when you put answers into my math lab. Okay, so try to remember to do the restrictions first. I always like to make a big R, put like that, and say X cannot equal, and then figure it out. Okay, just trying to give you a heads up there. Now here's an example. Um, rational expressions are in this equation. Okay, and how many rational expressions? One, two, three. They want you to figure out the restrictions, so what should you do to each of the denominators take it and set it not equal to zero make sure you make that change in your class notes I've done that since I made the PDF files X minus 3 what value can X not equal go like that X squared minus 9 now look what I did here okay now yeah I did set it not equal to zero but, but what did I do class I factored it and it's a what difference of squares okay now there you go. You've got three scenarios of the denominators. Solve for x, add 3 to both sides. Therefore, x cannot equal 3. Minus 3 on both sides. x cannot equal negative 3. And over here, you get, take each set of parentheses, solve them for 0, and you get x cannot equal negative 3. x cannot equal 3. Final answer, you got a little bit of an overkill here, but x cannot equal positive or a negative 3, and that's what this symbology means here. A plus and a minus together means plus or minus negative 3. Now, on my math lab, you're going to have to list them as negative 3, comma, uh, well, I'll put the positive, but you don't put the positive 3, and they will probably ask you to put the, well, I'm not sure about the brackets. Sorry, let me take it back. Um, you have to list them as separate answers. Unfortunately, my math lab does not have a plus or minus symbol. Uh, I wish they did. It would make life just a little easier for us. Maybe that will be an upgrade for us down the road. Okay, so with that said, you now know how to handle restrictions. Take each denominator, set it not equal to zero, and find what value of x cannot equal. Now, let's go handle the, the objective number two. We have to solve rational expressions. Okay, now Look how I look at what I did here. Step one half. Oh, look what I put in here. Determine the restrictions. You got to do that. Don't forget this. Now, step number two. Look at the denominators and determine the LCD, and multiply all terms by the LCD to quote clear out the fraction. That's we've been kind of doing that before, so I think you'll see that fairly fairly easy once we start doing them isolate the variable to solve it and then finally make sure you check your 
check for restrictions before you give your final answer. Okay, um, those are the four steps we're going to use here. So when I see you back on the next video for page two, we will actually do a couple problems and practice this technique for solving rational equations, rational expressions. That make rational equations that contain rational expressions. Okay, Mr. McHugh, I'm going to sign off here now, give ourselves a check on this guy, and I will see you for uh, page two. Okay, take care. Bye.